ahead into the oil and then slowly let your thumb go. It's chemistry time on board the Maryland Biolab bus. All right, so are we supposed to make it paint? Students are creating an acid-based hydrate. Have you talked about acids and bases? Have you talked about titrations? When the mobile lab visits other schools, says instructor Angel Mangus, students may do biology experiments or work involving wildlife forensic science. It's really nice to get them in here with hands-on activities. They get really excited and they want to be engaged. Everybody turn it all the way up to 1,000. It seems to be working. There's a button on the side. It'll eject the tip. It's more like interactive. I get to use different chemicals and materials than I would normally use. It's really showed me how just a little bit of a difference can really impact like your product when you're doing something in there. I like not knowing what's going to happen and like seeing like changes in like the chemicals or like something bubbling or catching on fire. Yeah, excellent. When the students return to the classroom, they continue working on the results of their experiment with chemistry teacher Leah Warble. We want to make sure they know how to do it and also how to apply that to the next step. Well, there's a thousand microliters for every one milliliter. Warble says students usually don't know what they're interested in until they're exposed to it. The mobile lab is an innovative way to provide that exposure. Feeling like a real scientist, I mean, even just a change in the in the in what they were wearing, wearing goggles and, and blue gloves versus white gloves made them feel more television scientists. Being allowed to handle materials like that, they are now intrigued in, in doing it. The mobile lab has been bringing hands-on bioscience education to schools around the state for more than a decade. It's supported by the Maryland Bio Foundation. Brian Gaines is chief executive officer of the nonprofit group. What we try and do is take the newest, most innovative technologies that are being developed in the, in the laboratories here in the state of Maryland and bring them into the, into the mobile lab. Gaines says Maryland's future prosperity requires a workforce skilled in science. The foundation's mission, he says, is to create the next generation of scientists. One of the reasons that we do this program is to talk about careers in science, technology, engineering, and math. When you're finished with your calculations and handling all the oil, go ahead and take your gloves off. So instructors are role models as well. At the end of each class, if we have enough time, we'd like to go ahead and take five or ten minutes, talk about ourselves, tell them how we got into science. And she adds, after they finish their experiments, many students leave the biobus excited about the possibility of becoming scientists. For writer Faiza El Masri, I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News. Oh my God, you almost ran into me. I did run into you.